Danny Shea, 1917, after a relatively unspectacular career in the majors, Danny Shea became a minor league baseball manager and was hired to manage the Milwaukee Brewers of the American Association back in 1917. May 3rd, the team had traveled to Indianapolis and was staying at a hotel at the Hotel English. Shea went to the hotel's cafe that night with a female companion named Gertrude Anderson and complained about the lack of sugar in a bowl on his table. When a black waiter named Clarence Yule came to deal with the complaint, the situation somehow escalated into an argument. Shea responded by pulling out a gun and shooting Yule in the abdomen. This left, uh, this led to a brief scuffle in which Yule wrestled Shea to the ground and stomped on his head. After the two men were separated, Yule was taken to the hospital and he died an hour later. Shea was charged with second degree murder. Shea always maintained that he shot Yule in self-defense after Yule attacked him and threatened to kill him. At the trial, Gertrude Anderson backed up this story, claiming that Yule had used abusive language, lunged at Shea before the shooting occurred. However, most of the employers from the cafe denied that Yule made any attempt to attack Shea. In the end, the jury believed Shea's story and acquitted him, a verdict which was met with much criticism from the media and the black community. In spite of his success at beating the murder charge, Shea would lose his managerial job with the Brewers. And his own life would come to an ill fate ten years later when he was found dead in a Kansas City hotel room of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. <laughs> 